how you doing? So today we're gonna be doing the long awaited bridal makeup trial. I know I've been teasing this for a while and it's taken me a couple times to make sure everything was perfect. Slightly a perfectionist. I filmed this maybe three times, maybe four, I'm not gonna talk about it. Anyways, today I'm gonna go through my tips and tricks how to get this flawless bridal look. It's soft, it's glam, it is sexy. It is perfect for any bride. All right, Makeup Monsters, let's get it started. So first things first is I apply a sunscreen. And I know a lot of you are gonna be like, ew, I don't wanna wear sunscreen on my wedding day, but trust me, let me tell you, UV rays are not your friend sunscreen. This is the one I use right here. I love this stuff because it doesn't smell like sunscreen because when you think of something that smells like sunscreen, it reminds me of a toddler running around the playground. I don't know why that comes to mind, but it does. And I don't want to be smelling like that on my wedding day, so I'm assuming you don't want to smell like that. I take a decent amount, probably about that much, rub it in my hands, work that all over my face. And I also bring that down my neck. Following that step, I go in with Pixi Detoxify Eye, Eye Gels. These are a lifesaver for brides because most likely you did not sleep the night before. It always happens. You're thinking about those last minute things that you didn't do. It's hard to sleep without someone the night before if you're used to sleeping with your significant other. So things like that, um, you're going to notice it, especially in the eye area. A lot of people get really puffy under here. It's really dark. The Pixie eye gels, you put them in the fridge. They get super, super cold. It's nice, refreshing. It just wakes up the entire eye. So let's talk about my favorite bridal palette right here. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. Let me just open it. Mine's a little bit messy. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I use it a lot. It comes from cooler to warmer tones. It has a deep tone. You have your mauves in here. You have your gold. You have your shimmers. It has everything in one palette. I highly recommend this to everyone. Every single one of my clients. I'm like, you need this. It's universal. It's good for everyday wear. It's good for special events. It's a must have. I'm going to start with the color Orange Soda and Burnt Orange. We're going to take that and we're going to place it into our crease. Slowly bringing the color upwards. As you see, I'm not going back into the palette. I'm using what I have on my brush and just defining that crease. This is going to be our transition color. So I zoomed you guys in a little bit closer so you can get a better view of what I'm doing. Following that step, I'm going to deepen the outer corner. I'm using the Morphe M513 brush right here. And I'm going in with Rustic. And we're going to take that, keeping it focused on the outer corner, slowly bringing it into the center. And you're going to blend until your arm basically falls off. So now we're going to go in with the star of the show, Spotlight Glitz from Artist Couture. I am telling you, this is a game changer. I'm all about using pigments and glitters and getting all glam because I feel as a bride, you're going to want to look glamorous. Yeah, natural, snatural, looks great. But if you want to add that little bit of pop right here, literally my go-to, um, I will show you guys and give you a little swatch of the color. So there's a little swatch of Spotlight Glitz. That all over your lid, whoo, mwah, it's marvelous. I use glitter glue with it. You don't have to, and it actually activates with your body heat, so yeah. You're spicy, you got body heat, you're good to go. But me, because I have claws like a tiger, it's a little hard for me to get in here. So I still use glitter glue. Today we're gonna to be going in with NYX Cosmetics. This is their glitter glue. I've tried the Too Faced one as well, which still phenomenal, does a great job. But $20 compared to like $6, like honey's trying to save a dollar. You know what I mean? So we're gonna go in with this guy, use a flat brush. This is the Morphe M124. I'm gonna take that and with the glue, I'm going to place it from the inner part of my eyelid to the center. All right, I don't think you guys are ready, but let's go in. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! That's it. That is the glam that we are going for. I was going to say glam, but I don't even know what glam is. Do you see? See what I mean? That's how amazing it is. I can't even speak. 
<laughs> you guys, Justin's in the <laughs> Justin's in the room while I'm filming this. So, <laughs> and if you want to deepen this look even more, you're gonna go in with cypress umber on the very outer corners, slowly blending that inwards, but keeping that in the cat eye shape. So let's talk about base and foundation. Game changing product. This is the Tarte foundation. This is the found sealer. Oh my God, I found this about two months ago and it has changed my life. A lot of people are saying it's a hit and miss, but with my type of skin, I'm combo. I'm dry on the cheek area, oily in the center. I do powder this down, but let me tell you, this is sweat proof. This is everything proof. Like you can get hit by a tsunami and this is gonna stay on. Phenomenal product. And I don't use much concealer with it, which is a bonus, cause less product the better. I don't like feeling very caked on. It's like the worst feeling in the world for me. Especially if you get sweaty, like I'm hot blooded, okay? So if I get sweaty and put powders and all this jazz on my face, it's just a hot mess. It looks nasty. It separates right here, right here in my forehead. Yeah, it's not cute. But we're gonna go in with the found sealer. I'm using the Real Technique sponge right now and I'm just gonna bounce that onto my skin. Now, a lot of you are wondering like, oh my God, Brittany, you didn't use a primer. And fun fact, the sunscreen that I used actually does have a little bit of a sticky base, which I find really works well with this foundation. And it blurs out your pores like, hello. That is the vibe that we are going for. And I take that and I drag that a bit under the neck. Let's talk about highlight and contouring. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. This is a light one, I believe. I'm gonna be going in, oh God, mine looks so messy. I use it, you can tell that I use my product. I'm gonna go in with this yellow shade right here and then for my contour, I'm gonna go in with this middle one. Let's start with highlighting. I'm gonna go in with this brush right here under the eyes. And because of the found sealer and how it like really covers my under eyes, I don't need to use a concealer. So I just go in with highlight right after. This really brightens the look, which we go for for bridal makeup. And we're gonna take that as an upside triangle. And with my highlighting, I don't contour my nose with a darker shade, I actually contour it with highlighting. So I take this, and I bring it to the side of my nose just like that. And that's gonna give you that very snatched type of look. Now the place to highlight is the Cupid's bow, the chin, and the sides of your face right here and right here. Also do a couple swipes on the forehead, fanning it outwards. And one more if you really want that nose contour going right down the center of your nose. Just like that. For contour shades, we're gonna go in and we're gonna go right under our cheekbone on both sides. A little bit on the forehead. under the lip. This right here is gonna give you that super pouty Angelina Jolie sexy lip. And on the sides of the Cupid's bow. As I said earlier, I do not contour the nose because when I find I contour my nose, it goes muddy. It's not a cute look. It's not the look we are going for. Now we're gonna go back in with a Real technique sponge. First, I'm gonna uh, blend out the highlighted areas. So I'm taking the flat edge and pushing it into my skin. Pushing my sponge over using the pointy edge and blending my contour out. So with this, you wanna always go up. Gravity ain't our friend. So we're gonna go against it and go up. Gravity pulls down, we do not pull down. 
With so, every cream product that you go into, you want to go down with a powder as well because that's going to, whoa, that's going to set it. I'm using today Hula Bronzer by Benefit and the Hard Candy Translucent Powder Envy. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh my god, Brittany, you're using hard candy on your face. Yes, I am. You know why? Because no flashback baby. A lot of these powders, I've tried the Laura Mercier too before you come at me. I've tried it. I love it, but I find it a little bit too thick for me personally. I have it in my wedding bridal kit. It just doesn't work for me, but this guy does. So these two together, bam, everywhere that you contoured, bronzer, everywhere that you highlighted, translucent powder. So now that you're all up in my face again, let's go in with brows. This is Benefit's Cabral. Let me tell you, this is life-changing. I've used so many brow products before, but this lasts all day. I can literally wipe my face and it's not going to come off, which is the goal. Because I'm the type of person that constantly touches their face. Yeah, no, this stuff is amazing. I always suggest going in with a pomade for your wedding. You can go in with a powder, but definitely set it with a gel. I'm just a pomade babe. It is what it is. But a lot of people ask me, how do I do my brows? You're gonna find out today. Take this. This is the Morphe M217. This is just an angled brush. And I take it, the outer corner of my brow at the bottom, and I make a defined line just to shape it out. Slowly bring that in. I'm very gentle handed when it comes to my brows because you can always add more, but it's hard to take away. Then I'm going to create my arch. Then I'm going to slowly start filling in the arch to the end of the brow. Wipe it right there. And the remainder of what is on my brush, I start drawing in little lines at the beginning of my brow, just filling out the sprouts areas. So after we filled our brows in, we're going to go in with a spoolie brush and we're just going to brush the front to the center of our brows. So this is going to diffuse it and make it look a little bit ombre-y. I don't like the ombre brow, so I do like a bolder brow, but this just makes it a little more gentler. Let's talk about blush, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about how we're not walking down the aisle without blush. I'm a lot. I am a lot. Okay, anyways, I'm going in with the Pixie. Oh, my nose is a G. One second. Ugh. My God. Got to keep it 100 here. Anyways, we're going to go in with Pixie Gilded Bear. This is, this is a must-have in anyone's makeup collection. I like it because there's a highlight, there's a blush, and then there's your contour shade. All you got to do is do a little swipey swipey. Off we go. See that little bit of shimmer? A little bit of shimmer shimmer, a little bit of shimmer 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 shimmer. Yeah, we like that in our life. And that just like, it highlights your cheekbones. It brings you up. And when you're smiling in photos, you want to give them that little bit of like side, like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know how I'm going to post this. Oh, my nose is still itchy. Ugh. Okay, we're good. Let's go into our next product, which is going to be highlight. We are going to highlight two of the gods. I'm using Artist Couture Illuminati. This is their skin finisher. Let me tell you. Let me tell you a little something, something. This is Glow Central. I like to glow. You should like to glow. We all like to glow. The sun is no longer our competition. There we go. Like, do you see that? Mm. That bitch over there staring at you? Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now she's blind. <laughs> Let's go in with the other side. Woohoo! Yas. You have made it to the party. Oh, we can't forget our nose. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, 
Yes, yes, yes. But we're not done. We are not ready for the party yet. So, following that step, we're going to go in with lips. We need some color. I always recommend brides to use a lip scrub because ain't nobody wants some crusty ass lips for your wedding. So, we're going to go on with Nug Beauty. Mm. There's no attractive way to do this, so I just go in. So, whoops. So, <laughs> so, what I love about this lip scrub right here is it doesn't taste like crap like a lot of them do. This doesn't taste like really anything, maybe a little minty, which you know can't hurt anybody. Going in with a makeup wipe. In that step, we're gonna go in with Bite Beauty. This is in the color Mirage. I'll give you a little sneak peek. So this is one of my <laughs> truly loved lipsticks. I think it's perfect for bridal. It's like that pinky, mauvey, soft, yet sexy type of lipstick. There's the color right there. Brides, another thing that I really wanna stress is buy yourself your own lip color for your wedding. Number one, it will turn out to be really special to you whenever you wear it, it will bring you back. Number two, Yes, I can use a matte lipstick that will last all day, a lip stain, whatever. Those kind of get crusty during the day. I don't know. I don't think it's a cute look. So buy your lipstick. I love cream-based lipsticks, to be honest with you. Yes, they don't last all day, but they give you that little bit of sheen, that more plump kind of look. Preference. If you like a matte, you like a matte. It's just, it's not my journey, baby. Following that step, we're going to go with a gloss. This is the Buxom, which one is this? Full-on plumping lip polish. And it's in the color Claire. The color right there. And we're just gonna go right over the cream lipstick. Mm -hmm. Hello. And this does sting a little bit, but it's gonna give you that plump, that juicy lips. Mm -hmm. Now, because I used so many powder products on my face, I just want to touch it up. This is a hydrating spray by Bioderma. I'm just going to take some of this. Fan it out. It's funny, I started using a fan in my kit for me because I am so warm and toasty when I'm doing makeup. But it actually worked out for like me and the client. Setting spray, fan it in, baby. Brittany gets hot, fan it out, baby. You see? You feel me? Hello. Last but certainly not least, we're going to go in with some lashes. I'm going to be using something a little fluffy, a little more voluminous. To each their own when it comes to lashes. Really, you can't go wrong as long as you have lashes on. So now that we have our lashes on, I go in with Tarte's camera, or Lights Camera Lashes. This is waterproof. It's not going to smear under the lash line, which it's a bonus for brides. So I just take that and apply it on my lower lashes. Now let's get into the extras. If you really want that really opened eyed kind of look, you're gonna go in with an eyeliner into your waterline. So today I'm gonna be using the NYX Fox White. This is in the color Linen. I'm gonna take that, pull down. Right, and if you wanna take it up one more step and brighten it, we're gonna take, go back into this palette right here, take this highlighting shade, right into your inner corner. So after that, you're gonna wanna go in with a setting spray, set this baby down so you're all day long. We are bridal ready! I'm ready to be married, like, hello, someone, please put a ring on it, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, waiting. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, enjoyed all my tips and tricks, how to get bridal ready. I know a lot of people are going to be like, Brittany, you shared all your tricks, how are you going to find work? No, no, no. So here's the thing. I think it's really important to hire a makeup artist. I'm going to give you two main reasons. Number one, you can buy all this product and pay 
amount, or you can have me do it and pay a fraction of that price. See what I mean? You want to enjoy your wedding day. You don't want to stress about having to do your makeup. You're always in a rush. You're thinking of all those last minute little things. And if you screw up on eyeliner, sweetie, there is no going back. So there you go. Those are my two main reasons. I want you to enjoy yourself. I want you to be in the moment. Take that hour to be in the moment. You know, you feel me? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and until next time, Wedding Series is a go.